Hello everyone. Today in this video we're going to review one of the best online tools for weather forecasting. Today we're going to introduce you to Ventiski. By providing interactive maps and accurate forecasts, this website helps you track weather conditions easily. In this tutorial we'll show you how to use the various features of this website, including temperature, wind speed and precipitation forecasts. If you're not a member of our channel yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Let's get started. Okay, firstly search Ventiski in your browser. To get quick access, we've attached its link in the description of this video. Well, when you enter the website, you face such a page. As you can see, it has several sections. We try to explain them all. For instance, there is a search section that helps us find our desired location. Our meteorological parameters section. Screen section. Settings. Sharing. Legend and time frame section. Let's start with the search section. As mentioned before, in the search section you can search your location. However, you can use the map to find your area. The search section has made it easy and faster. For example, here we search a random place. Okay, in our section that catches eyes the parameters section. There are various meteorological parameters in this section. Pay attention that using the color gradient available on the right lower side, you can interpret the output of each parameter. The first one is temperature. This parameter has an altitude option that shows the temperature of the selected altitude. For example, freezing level, the temperature of the sea surface, or temperature of 5 cm above the ground. The next parameter is field life temperature. This parameter shows the temperature that you can feel on the Earth. The next one is precipitation. That has an accumulation option including 1 hour, 3 hour, a specific time period and monthly anomaly. The next one is radar. It shows current intensities of precipitation based on real or predicted data sets. Next one is satellite, which displays the types of satellites. You can change it using the model option below the parameters. The next one is clouds. This parameter shows the cloud cover from low cover to high cover. It also includes total cloud cover and fog. The next parameter is wind speed. The same as temperature, it shows wind speed at different altitudes. Next one is wind gusts, which is a maximum of one hour in a specific time. Air pressure is also available. We got thunderstorms here, which has different indexes. The next one is humidity, which has different types and altitudes. The next parameter is C. You can select and view different types of parameters for it. Snow cover is the next parameter, which has types of total cover and selection from a specific date and time interval. And ultimately, the last parameter is the air quality. This parameter also has different substances. That includes PM10, NO2, O3, dust, and so on. 
In front of each one you can see what causes that pollution. In the model option, both global and regional models are available. Once you select the parameter, by moving the cursor on the map, you can see the values of the selected parameter. The values are based on the unit of the selected parameter. As already mentioned, on the lower side the lesion is available, that help us interpret the output of each parameter. In fact, it indicates the number range of each parameter. For example, lower numbers for temperature indicates colder areas. Using the first white rectangle, you can change its unit. Beside the lesion, there is an option that shows weather fronts. If you enable it and zoom to your area, you'll see the weather fronts of that area on the map. Below the weather fronts, there is webcam option. By clicking on it, webcams available all over the world will be displayed on a map. If we click on each one, we can see the weather condition of that area. Even we can see the weather changes within 24 hours or hourly in form of animation. or compare the history and today images in FOMA before and after. We can also change the wind animation, can be turned off if needed, or displayed normally, or strong forms, soft mode, dark mode, or fast motion. As mentioned before, by turning the weather fronts on and zooming, you'll see the available weather fronts. On the right upper side, we can see the share option. There are several share options here. The first one is to use the link. It gives us a link to share with others. You can turn its parameters on or off, whether the time and date should be sent inside the link or not, should the position be sent in the link or not. The next option is screenshot. You can do this by specifying your location and parameter. Just specify the page size. And click on the create option. The screenshot is downloaded. As you can see, it gave us a screenshot including the parameter and its altitude, time and date and its legend. There are also the live screenshot and embed options that you can check for yourself. You can make a series of changes in the settings section. For example, change the model. Or in the application settings section, you can turn some parameters on or off. For example, you can turn on the values in green. Weather map applied interpolation option. Pressure systems. Weather fronts. Also turn on or off the webcams. When you scroll down, you can change unit sections. The units of all parameters are in this section. You can change them all based on your desire.
and you can also make changes to the animation section. Based on your taste and needs, you can reduce or increase these parameters to create a better animation. And in the last section, you can change the page and website language. Or change the time format to display as 24 hours or 12 hours. Choose closer or farther resolution. Also, the border color can be changed. We put it on automatic. At the bottom of the website, you can see an animation of your area. And what's weather changed well in the coming hours? You can change the time period of these changes. And from this date, you can see from the past to the present as well as future climate changes.